Welcome back, everybody, on this lovely Monday, August 26th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Welcome back for the morning meeting here at Cybertrain University. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their last weekend. Good to see you, Brian. Good to see you, Wayne, Tim, Gary. Good to see you, Gene, Michael, Ken, everyone, Eric. All right, good, good. Lita, good to see you. I don't know about you where you are, guys, but it is it is cold. It was cold yesterday. I don't know what happened. It looks like Mother Nature wants to kick in, get rid of summer quicker than we thought. I mean, it is in the 60s here in New York. I was planning on uh, hopefully being a nice little weekend, spend the last week of my, uh, before my kids go to school. Uh, hopefully Memorial Day, I mean uh, Labor Day this weekend is going to be pretty nice. But um, overcast cool there too, Lita? Yeah, I can imagine. If it's here in New York, I know you're up there in Canada. But um, so what does that kind of tell us? Well, listen, it's the last week of summer. I mean, I dropped my son off on Friday uh, up at college. So, um, you know, so I know a lot of kids went back last week. So summer kind of ended with them. But because it's the last week of people renting homes and stuff like that, I'm not expecting to be to be a exciting week. But after seeing what's going on with the China war, uh, wars, I'll tell you, I mean, this market has been unbelievable. We had a great, uh, we had a, a nice little crash on Friday, so a lot of you guys did pretty well in the shorts. I know some of you did really well on some of the options. I'm not the options. I'm sorry. A lot of the ETFs that were moving pretty well, but um, we'll talk a little bit about that. But before we get started, guys, just remember, uh, right now you see up on the screen once again uh, upcoming events. Just remember, we have traders talk tomorrow. We got the phase three that's starting with me to, um, on tomorrow also which is one of the most exciting classes where, remember, it's not about us teaching you how to make money. It's about teaching you how to stop losing it. So, you know, the, the phase three is where we get to trade side by side. You got the Trader Summit that's coming up by September 10th. And then uh, the Las Vegas, uh, we have a big event that's going on over there about trading with a cause. So uh, we're going to actually have the owner here also. So let's get back to the screen and talk about what, uh, what did move on Friday. I know there were a couple of nice little stocks that we did trade, and uh, some of you guys did really, real well. Let's start talking off. Let's talk with uh, about LB, uh, Limited Brands. This L Brands, this thing just, just got destroyed, and it just well, just has not stopped ever since. Been a nice little mover for us. Uh, is it the bounce, some people think? Well, listen, we got plenty of time for that. You need a couple of days to see if that pans out, but as of right now, it's not. So that was a really nice short, just nice little trend all the way down. A lot of the uh, gold stocks all moved. Nugget, those all moved pretty nicely too on, fr on Friday. Once again, market down, metals go up. Uh, you know, there's this one stock that a lot of you, I keep telling a lot of you guys to keep an eye on. It's been doing pretty well. But uh, this is that silver stock. It's another nice little cheap stock. To me, it's just too slow, but it's been a really good swing trade. Um, you know, like I said, there there are stocks for all of us out there to trade. And guys, remember this, you know, fellow traders, when it comes to trading, you know, this is not a sprint. It's a marathon. Just take your time. Be patient. We'll get there. So there are fast-moving stocks for the fast-moving traders, and there are slow stocks for the slow-moving traders. But there's something for all of us. So just keep in mind that it's all about being consistent, all right? So we had that one. Sand was another one that also... Had a nice little move, another little cheap little gold stock, another level one stock, EGO. There's another one right there, up nice and slow, nice little trend. I mean, they're all pretty nice moving stocks. Look at this one, $3 on a swing trade all the way to nine. What about, what is that, 300% in less than a month? Not bad. I mean, people can't wish can't do that in, the, in a lifetime in their in their IRAs. Imagine putting 100000 and come back and it's 300000 I mean, you know, there you go. So they're there all day long. Now, the question people are always asking, is the party over? Is it done? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, you, even this stock right here, look at the orders. You still got 10,000 share buyer out there on the bid, 4,000, not that much sellers. I mean, these stocks are, are, are doing pretty well. But just keep in mind, these specific stocks are second protocol. We always want to go with what's first protocol which is trading the stocks that have the most volatility for the day. And let's start off what happened on Friday, which was FL. Uh, Foot Locker was just, I mean, this, this is what we train for. Foot Locker goes from 37 down to 34 in about two hours. That is what we're looking for, okay? That was pretty, uh, a pretty good moving stock. Another one, FL, FFHL was another one. It was a little bit all over the place, but you can see that stock. 
Uh, I mean, this stock was gapped up, went from $2 to 3 all the way to 6 Let me just fix the time frame so it looks a little bit better. But you can see how that thing just came out of the gate, just took right off. So this is first protocol. The other stocks, the brand names, gold stocks that were trading, that's second protocol. All right. So now what are we doing this morning? Uh, Fausto, do you have a swing trading list uh, from Eric? You know, there are a couple of stocks um, that we still we still watched. I mean, I want to throw BJ's on that watch list because BJ's actually did pretty well for us also. Um, there, there are a couple of swing trades. I'm still not a fan of doing any swing trades yet. I want to wait until after Labor Day, okay? You see what's happening in the market. We could have got suckered in last week when the market rallied and we had a huge crash, you know, and the market down 600 points. We're up 200 like today. You know, you're hearing great stories about, you know, about uh, China now wants to talk, you know, and I, I'm, I'm not an analyst. So I don't want to throw my two cents and tell you what, what, you know, how I feel about the whole thing and, and whatever, because honestly, at the end of the day, whatever I think really doesn't matter. Okay. It's what wall street matters. So as much as we like what we hear and don't like what we hear at the end of the day, remember what you trained in class. It, the, remember what I told you, and I'm going to share this with all of you for all my listeners out there. Once you know something about the stock market, you're going to lose. And why is that? It doesn't matter what you think. Your hundred, your thousand shares is not going to change what the, what the street's going to think. Just follow the money. You could have a sense of, you know, experience what you learn being part of here to say, oh, you know, maybe it is starting to trend up. You know, you're seeing consistency, but you got to use the trading mentality not your personal feelings about, you know, a certain uh, about stock. Because let me tell you something, and you all know this. Uber. I'm a huge fan of Uber. Huge fan. Okay? And guess what? If I was, if I was such a fan on it, I would have been crushed. Crushed. Okay? In Uber. Destroyed. All right? And you all know this. We watched the stock go public. We made money with it going up. Um, I took a nice little profit in it. Good thing I got out of it. And Josh was standing right there. Um, we, I was showing Josh. I'm like, damn, Josh, I take the, I take the five thousand dollar profit in in this Uber trade. Cause then, no, and then he's like, it looks like it's going up. I, you know, we made this the bottom, whatever. And then the next day later, I was only up about twenty six hundred. I lost twenty five hundred in the day. Guess what? If I didn't take that twenty six hundred dollar profit, I'd probably be down right now, maybe ten thousand. Okay. So 26 first 10,000, big difference. Now that's me, you know what I mean? But look where it is right now. So, but I love the company. I think it's a great, you know, one of the, the hype that went led into this thing since before it went public was all over the place. But you can't go broke taking a profit and you can't let your personal feelings uh, uh, get into it, all right? You still got to trade it. All right, let's go over a couple of stocks that are moving right now. So we got the FGO, FGO right now. We're going to throw this one on the watch list. Did I spell it right? Uh, no. FSLY. Let me bring that one right there. FSLY, nice little gap up. The stock's trending up from 15 to 27. There's another one. Had a nice little move. Came back down. It's testing resistance levels. Got good volume, 6%. That one's pretty good. RKDA, another one that made the watch list. Uh, we all know the stock. We traded it not too long ago. The stock was right around two dollars. Gapped up, went to five, went all the way to nine. I mean, uh, she's pretty volatile. She's pretty quiet the last couple of days, but looks like she's up twenty-one percent, six hundred thousand shares. Look at those level three orders out there. They're everywhere. ERNX, another one popped up on the radar. Um, here's a stock that just literally just took off and came right back down. So I don't know what this is all about, but um, for seeing it going up that much in that short period of time and coming right back down, I want to like to keep an eye on it. It's right back to where it closed. So I don't know. You know what? Forget it. Scratch it. You know what? I saw it earlier around 8 o'clock this morning. I looked at it. I said, eh, maybe it came back down. Forget it. I'm done. Listen, hot and cold, baby. Hot and cold. TBI is the one you guys have been watching lately. Uh, this is the one we've been watching in pre-market. So um, this was a great call around 8.30 this morning at 4 o'clock. It's a 4, 4.11, cheap stock, great volume. You could trade a lot of shares if you're an advanced trader. If you're not an advanced trader, beginner, you could trade small shares, get in and out of it. You know, as of, listen, we've got to take what the market gives us, and this is pretty much what's out there. TB, also keep an eye on that on the swing trade. 
you could see it's got a big spread. This is not a day trading stock, so be very careful. And then the PAAS. And American Steel, just keep an eye on that one, too. Once again, fan of all the gold stocks, all the gold ETFs. So ETFs are moving. So listen, there are a couple of brand name stocks that are moving. So if you have a favorite stock out there, you could trade those. But other than that, just be very careful. It is Monday. It's the last week of summer. I'm not expecting it other, uh, to be a, other than being a volatile one, because you never know what's going to come out in the next tweet or not. But um, but that like yesterday, like when you see stuff like that, guys, that that is a day trader's dream. But as of everything else, you know what? I'm not expecting a lot of companies to come out with some big news going on this week. I mean, you had the buyout uh, with the with the drug with Selgin, you know. But th th I mean, we're not be dealing with hundred dollar stock. So you know, let's we work off our percentage gainers and losers and go from there. But just be very careful. Now I know we have a lot of new people that are starting today. Let's uh, let's all welcome all of them uh, for joining Cybertrade University. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Time for you to change your life, and there's no better place than do it in the Cybertrade University's chat room and trading room. So, uh, but just remember, guys, just look, listen, and learn. This is um, this is not an easy game, but it's a fun game. It does pay a lot of money, uh, and just remember, I know everybody wants to do this, and that's and that's great, but it's not for everybody, and that's okay too. So uh, just sit back, enjoy, um, watch the trading room. And make sure you talk to education advisors. Hopefully you watched all the videos over the weekend, understanding the lingo and what's going on. And then uh, once again, just uh, just uh, watch and see what's going on. And we'll have another presentation at 2.30 talking about what the trade you want to close. So we're going to go into silence right now, guys. So good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, let's make some money. Be safe out there, okay?